Gamers, listen up. Today we have a special guest who has transitioned from being a dedicated gamer to organizing gaming events. Christian Lang joins us now with more. Hi, Christian. How are you? Good, Kelly. How are you? I'm doing great. So I've got to ask, how did you even get started in gaming? Was this something that that you fell in love with as a kid? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Growing up, um, me and my friends would always get together and play video games, whether it was after school uh, at somebody's house or uh, somewhere online. Um, I remember saving up my money, uh, you know, doing chores, birthday money, different things like that uh, to save up enough money to get an Xbox so that uh, I could game at home. Um, so it's always been something that's been near and dear to my heart for sure. And now you've kind of transitioned it into a full-time career. Tell us about that. Yeah. So this is actually a career that found me. I didn't really uh, find it necessarily. Um, <clears throat> uh, a couple of years ago, I was actually in the junk removal business. Um, and I had a couple of business partners who had owned a video game business at the time. Um, and uh, naturally, the transition just kind of happened. Um, we sold the junk removal business and then I moved into the gaming uh, full time. Um, so uh, I've been doing this now full time uh, for about two years now. Does it feel like a job? Not necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> I tell people it's, uh, it's the, the funnest job that I've ever had for sure. Um, yeah, it's always so nice when you, show up, when you show up to a job and everybody's happy to see you. Um, that's always a nice addition as well. <clears throat> and they're sad to see you go too, right? Because they're having a good time. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, 100%. So we always try and give, give uh, the participants something uh, to take home with them at the, the end of every event. So we, we give out little bracelets uh, and, and different cards and things like that. So uh, we always try to send people home smiling. So tell us the name of your business and, and what services you offer. Sure. So uh, the name of the business is Gamer Events. Uh, we're located here in Tampa, Florida. Uh, we offer uh, a variety of mobile uh, video game uh, services. Uh, our main thing is our 32-foot video game trailer um, that can accommodate up to 32 players at once. It's outfitted with eight TVs, uh, 26 consoles, and we have full online capabilities for that. We also offer uh, our tactical laser tag which can be set up inside or outside. Um, we offer our gamer towers, which is eight TVs, eight consoles. We do Oculus VR, and we also do uh, foam parties as well. So we offer a variety of mobile entertainment services. I've got to ask, who are your customers? So a lot of times our customers are uh, a lot of moms uh, planning birthday parties for their kids. Um, we do a lots of church events, corporate events, um, different schools. Uh, we're, we're involved heavily with the schools here in Hillsborough and Pinellas County. Um, so we do a lot of uh, kids events specifically. So what about this has driven you to continue this? There has to be a, an underlying passion for you. 100%. So like you had alluded to earlier. So I was um, that, you know, kind of outcasty um, kid back in the day. And I always found acceptance uh, in, in the gaming world uh, with my friends. And it was always something that um, we could connect on and we could always do uh, any time of the day or week. Um, and so for me, what it comes down to is that one kid uh, who is kind of a loner, who's kind of um, off, off to the side, um, and for his birthday or for her birthday, that's their time to shine, right? They're the cool kid for that day. Um, and, and they get to um, experience uh, what, it, what it means to, you know, be in that environment uh, with, with their friends. Um, and so for me, that's, that's ultimately what it comes down to. Um, is there is a, just a, make, making them feel special. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there a stigma that goes along with gaming? Oh, 100%. Uh, there's, you know, there's that stigma that, oh, you know, you're, you're a gamer, you must be an introvert, you must be a loner, you must be whatever. But gamer, 
gaming in, in today's modern day is the way that people connect with one another, whether it be online gameplay, uh, meeting new friends, hanging out with your friends. And what our services do is it takes that experience of being uh, in your bedroom or in your living room and bringing everybody together um, in one, one environment. So we can do an entire Fortnite party uh, where typically you would have to be, your friends would be in some other part of the country or some other part of the city. Uh, we can take that experience and bring everybody together to where they're all sitting down next to each other, having that same experience together. So it's really, really kind of cool to see. Yeah, gaming has come a long way. I mean, I remember the big console games. Now, you weren't playing with anybody else, but you were feeding your quarters in as, as fast as the machine would take it. And, and gaming has sure. kind of changed over the years. Kind of talk about that for a minute, if you would, and, and the importance of it now. Sure. So, yeah, gaming, gaming has definitely changed over the years. Um, obviously, you've got your old school systems where, uh, you know, Atari, Nintendo, different systems like that, where, you know, you were just playing by yourself or with a couple of friends or maybe your family in your home. Um, and now it's this broader network of people. You can play with somebody all the way on the other side of the world. Um, and so that that uh, aspect of it is is really, really unique. Um, and that's the other thing, too, that we, we love to offer. Um, we do offer retro gaming as well. Um, so we have uh, a retro Atari system and Nintendo. And so what you have is you've got the younger generation inside of the trailer uh, playing Fortnite and these online games. And then you have like the grandparents and the parents outside playing Atari and Nintendo. And so what we're doing is we're creating a unique experience um, that, go that crosses generations. Um, and it, so that's it always brings really everybody cool to together. Yeah, Absolutely. it brings everybody 100%. together. I mean, you're, uh, you know, you're speaking my language when you're talking Atari. Now, Niten yeah. Nintendo, that was a little further down the line, but but this is something that crosses all age demographics. So you can bring everybody together. Is this a great thing for, um, say, businesses to get all of their their group together and be as one? Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> we, we do lots of corporate events, a lot of family functions. Um, and so to uh, bring the, our services to those events um, definitely speaks a different language. And, and that's the thing is gaming crosses industries, right? So we've done uh, stuff for re people in the restaurant business, uh, restaurants. We've done uh, cement companies. Uh, we've done, like I said, schools and different things. So, so it, it crosses industries, right? This is a, this is an area, um, that touches so many different, uh, uh, demographics and so many different people groups. Um, and then to just be able to bring those experiences to, to those groups, um, and facilitate, um, an event is, is very unique for sure. So go back again. How long has gamer events been in operation? Yep. So gamer events started back in 2018. Uh, originally, it was up in Virginia. Um, and then right before COVID, uh, we had moved it down here to Tampa. Um, and so that was a, a challenge in and of itself uh, to be able to navigate the pandemic and what does that look like and different things like that. But it also gave us an opportunity to launch because a lot of people weren't going uh, to brick and mortar places to have parties. So we would come to their home and they would, you know, we would make sure everything was clean and different things like that um, <clears throat> to be able to put on these events. But so it did, it did create some challenges, some barriers, but we definitely uh, were able to overcome um, in that time. So that was really uh, a great, great thing for us. Well, Christian, if you stick around, we've got some more questions to come, but uh, we need to take a, a quick break and we'll be right back with Christian Lang after this. Thank you. 